Welcome to Harpy Alaska, Native News and Native Information. I'm Jeannie Green. On today's program, we visit with Athabascan Francis Williams. You might know him. We've had him on our program before with Athabascan Fiddling. He plays the guitar. He has a wonderful history and explains how he became a guitarist at an early age. It's all right here on Harpy Alaska, and I'll be back with Francis Williams right after this. Mokai, the versatile, durable, environmentally friendly and fuel efficient watercraft that's fun and easy to own. The strong polyethylene hull withstands scratches and impacts from river rocks. The jet pump requires only four inches, allowing for shallow water access and the three gallon tank provides eight to ten hours of use. The engine and jet pump can be removed without tools in under a minute, making transport, storage an easy task. Mokai, accept no boundaries. Hey everyone, is your home or office furniture showing its age? Let Scan Home and Office update your image. Albert's the expert, give him a call, toll free. <laughs> he can create the perfect furniture layout in the space you have available. He can even do this over the web. Scan Home wants to become your rural home office furniture supplier. It's mine. They even have financing options. Stop in at the corner of 36th and Arctic. Heartbeat Alaska is made possible by Kupik Carlisle Transportation, your full-service transportation and logistics company. Heartbeat Alaska is also brought to you by Frontier Flying Service. Thank you, Frontier, for getting Heartbeat Alaska airborne. And a special thank you to Scan Home and Scan Office Furnishings. And thank you, Alaska Commercial Company, for your support. From time to time, we get calls from all over the north, all over the lower 48, requesting music by this wonderful man. Here he is, Athabascan Francis Williams. <laughs> Thousand ways. 
born in Galena, uh, on the Yukon River there. And uh, some of the earlier thoughts of home was uh, pretty much uh, spending a lot of time out in the, in the woods, fish camp in the summer, trapping camp in the winter. But uh, it, it seemed like fun at the time. <laughs> And uh, we, uh, we'd get bundled up in the morning and go outside, you know, and enjoy, enjoy playing outside. We never looked at the thermometer. We never knew how cold it was, you know. Uh, it was 40 below or 20 above. We never knew the difference. We just dressed for it, and, and uh, we'd just go have a good time. And that was pretty much the way life was, you know. Uh, out on the trap line in the winter times, most folks were out, and, uh, and they'd come in on the holidays, of course, and, and uh, everybody did have a dance, and, and people would get together and just have a great old time. days we trapped a lot you know hunted and trapped and uh, went muskrat trapping in the spring and uh, got 12 muskrat in those days they were two dollars a piece you know for the hide I got 12 muskrat was twenty four dollars and I think my mom kicked in another five dollars for freight and we ordered a guitar from Sears and Roebuck and uh, that's how we got our start Seagull Island Blues was written by a gentleman in Nulato many years ago. I, I don't know just how long ago, probably late, late 40s maybe. And it's called Eagle Island Blues.
When he's not performing, Francis is a humble man of few words. When in our Hartford, Alaska studios here in Anchorage, he reflected on his travels through the years. We traveled quite a bit, uh, not so much here just recently, but in the past uh, few years, we've been to a lot of villages. Oh gosh, Eagle, Santa Cross, Minipai, Fort Yukon several times, Krista Galena for the Jamboree, and uh, and we, wherever we go, Copper Center, we we have friends there, and we people just know who we are, you know. And it's always fun to see these folks, and because Bill and I went to uh, Washington D.C. in '92, I think it was, spent 11 days there, the White House Mall, playing for. They wrote us a letter and said there was over a million people there, so that during the 11 days they come through there and uh, we went to Manhattan for five days in 95 and that was fun so we uh, we know a lot of people just fun going out there and playing for their dances and, and their potlucks and stuff shining in the sun They're taking her away, leaving me lonely. Silver wings slowly faded out of sight. Don't leave me, I cry. These songs remind me of my wife a lot because I was uh, playing uh, the guitar way back then, and 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 right uh, today even she keeps reminding me of this certain song that I did back then, and she'd ask me, you know, do you remember that one? And I say, oh yeah, mm -hmm. and I remember where it was at and all that, you know. So they they do bring back memories, a lot of these songs. And, you know, I I do like the older country songs. The uh, the new Great stuff grandpa. I I couldn't yeah. handle that. <laughs> it uh, I just don't yeah. care for yeah what they call in country it. music nowadays. To me, it's not really country. So I like the classic stuff, you know. Francis explains what it was like growing up as a native in the villages and learning to play his music. My mother was uh, part German. My dad was part Swede. So. I guess that would make me Alabaskan, German, Swede. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, like I said, when I uh, was just a teenager, I started to uh, play these uh, country songs that we'd order in the catalogs, you know? And uh, it just got a hold of me or whatever, I don't know. Uh, I, I just pursued it, you know? I just kept trying to, I didn't know how to play the guitar, of course, I had to learn to do that. And uh, I had an older friend that, that played the fiddle. And back then there weren't too many musicians in the village. And he'd come and get me, and I was only 14 at the time. I knew three chords. I said, if you play something in three chords, I'll, I'll come with you. <laughs> so we played for the dances, you know. And I played the three chords and he, he played the music. And, 
And uh, I guess that's where it all began. I started getting my, uh, I got some practice in with them, you know, and, and uh, we went from there. Everything just sort of fell into place. I heard that alone, some whistle blow. Got into trouble, had to roam. Left my gal and left my home. I heard that alone, some whistle blow. Just a kid acting smart. I went and broke my darling's heart. Yes, I was too young to know. They took me off the Georgia main and locked me to a ball and chain. I heard that long some whistle blow. All alone, I bear the shame. I'm a number, not a name. I heard that alone, some whistle blow. Well, I'll be locked here in this cell till my body just a shell and my hair turns whiter than snow. I'll never see that gal of mine. Thought I'd enjoy doing time. I heard that love, the whistle blow. Flying in Alaska? Fly Frontier, the official airline of Heartbeat Alaska. Frontier is expanding again. They've added new routes to Nome, Kotzebue, and the surrounding villages. As you can see, Frontier is now really covering Alaska. So the next time you fly, try Frontier. Frontier offers quick, convenient check-in, low fares, and service direct to many of the villages. Frontier Flying Service is the official airline of Heartbeat Alaska. Make it your official airline, too. Hey everyone, is your home or office furniture showing its age? Let Scan Home and Office update your image. Albert's the expert. Give him a call, toll free. <laughs> he can create the perfect furniture layout in the space you have available. He can even do this over the web. Scan Home wants to become your rural home office furniture supplier. It's mine. They even have financing options. Stop in at the corner of 36th and Arctic. The trees are on way heading to uh, 0, 02 and 20. So which one you land on? Uh, 0, 02, other way around. Okay. And what side traffic can you make? Uh, you want to try to touch down at the beginning portion of the runway. Yeah. Who looks at traffic says 976 November is on base for the runway. 0 Mokai, the versatile, durable, environmentally friendly and fuel efficient watercraft that's fun and easy to own. The strong polyethylene hull withstands scratches and impacts from river rocks. The jet pump requires only four inches, allowing for shallow water access, and the three gallon tank provides eight to ten hours of use. The engine and jet pump can be removed without tools in under a minute, making transport, storage, an easy task. Mokai, accept no boundaries. calls Fairbanks home these days. 
So we traveled there, and our Heartbeat Alaska camera and crew caught up with him at Mrs. Scott's music class in Denali Elementary, where he was accompanied by Trimble Gilbert on fiddle, along with William Tritt, who was showing the kids some dance steps. What's the, just by looking at it, what's the difference between a guitar and a fiddle? Francis retired from his job as a teamster two years ago. However, that retirement hasn't slowed his quest to keep the culture alive by teaching children traditional ways through his music. man. One of the things Francis holds most dear is his family and wife of more than 43 years. He explains how they first met. I was sitting in a cab one day with a friend of mine driving a cab there in Fairbanks and uh, I had just come from the job up on uh, North Slope and I saw uh, her walking down the street. Didn't know her at the time. But uh, I was being a little goofy, I guess, and I told my buddy, I says, yeah, now that there is a real pretty girl walking down the street, and I think I'm going to marry her one day. And he looked at me, he says, you're crazy. He says, you'll never get married. And uh, anyway, to make a long story short, I, I did what meet her, and uh, we, we got married in 57. It's been a long time. Our sin and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry every 
sing to God in prayer. Every trials and temptation is their trouble anywhere. Jesus knows our every Although he's been fortunate enough to be able to play his music for more than 50 years, Francis knows that the decision of when to quit is not entirely his alone. However long the good Lord allows me to, <laughs> you know, when, when he cuts me off, I guess I'll, I'll be done. But, uh, I, I, I just love playing music. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for Heartbeat Alaska Native News, Native Information, and like today, Native Fun. I welcome your phone calls. I welcome your emails. Reach me, Jeannie Green at ak.net, or give us a call at 907-563-7440. God bless you, and we'll see you again next week.